And to Trendy Now, this is a crisis that should bring people together. But ABC presenter Philip Adams celebrated by tweeting, Dear Virus, now that you've found number 10, the address of the White House is 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. How barbaric do you have to be to be an ABC presenter? Well, you're actually... Joining me is Daisy Cousins, the YouTube star, columnist, and Sky News contributor. Poor quality human being, it claims to be compassionate, preaches hate. That's uh, a bit of a template for a lot at the moment, but an exception on social media. Not an exception on social media, Andrew. Uh, social media, especially Twitter, is a. Uh, full of people who claim to be part of the, the tolerant, compassionate and loving left wing and yet behave in a way that's completely opposite to that whenever they are confronted by someone who has a different political opinion to them. People of the left claim this shows our racism. It has absolutely nothing to do with racism because aside from anything else, not all of the people who were quarantined on Christmas Island were Chinese Australian and not all of the people Correct. who are now quarantined in her hells, in, in hotels, in, in her hells, in hotels are, are white. I mean, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is Daisy. sickening. It is, it is sickening. It is so stupid. Can mm. they imagine how they would get people, Australians landing on every airport still open in this country? then put them on planes somehow. Euthanize the elderly in order to protect the economy. Daisy, please, please have to put the hatred to one side and the point scoring and just try to give people the facts. But it is, it is a perfect example of, Andrew, of what you just said, that there are a lot of political opportunists out there who have hijacked this virus in order to divide us rather than unite us. This, the humanizing of Trump, is absolutely obscene. I mean, we saw them, the journalists, mock him Nasty, for suggesting nice. that uh, a drug called chloroquine would be uh, potentially, potentially, he said, a uh, treatment. Now, when Trump came out and said, look, there's this drug, it might work, it might not work, look, let's keep it positive. Uh, there's a possibility, a possibility. And I say it, what do you have to lose? I'll say it again, what do you have to lose? Take it. I really think they should take it, but it's their choice, and it's their doctor's choice or the doctors in the hospital. So what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Hydroxychloroquine. Try it, if you'd like. So it's a very strong, powerful medicine, but it doesn't kill people. But it doesn't kill people. It's not going to hurt people. It can help them, but it's not going to hurt them. That's the beauty of it, you see? It can help them, but it's not going to hurt them. What do you have to lose? I want people to live. And I've seen people that are going to die without it. And you know the expression, when that's happening, they should do it. What really do we have to lose? But we don't have time to go and say, gee, let's take a couple of years and test it out. And let's go and test with the test tubes and the laboratories. We don't have time. I'd love to do that. But uh, I've seen things that I sort of like. So what do I know? I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but I have common sense. Grab him by the pussy. The data are really just at best suggestive. There have been cases that show there may be yeah. an effect and there are others to show there's no effect. Okay. So I think in terms of science, I don't think we could definitively say. This next minute, there's an Arizona couple in their 60s who see this coverage, realize they actually have some of this chloroquine <laughs> fish tank cleaner in their cupboard, take it, one of them dies, and the other, the woman, the wife, ends up in critical condition. And then the media blames Trump for that, even though it was their commentary that caused these poor people to think that fish tank cleaner could cure the coronavirus. Did you at any point hear that the FDA had not approved of it? It for coronavirus purposes, or yeah, but you know they kept saying that, that it was approved for other things, and you know Trump kept saying it was you know basically pretty much a cure. What a foul, offensive question! It is disgusting. It is irresponsible, and Donald Trump is a hundred percent right when he says that at the moment the media in America is the enemy of the people. 
I don't think you have to agree with all Trump is doing, but Daisy, it is an insane proposition. Daisy Cousins, thank you so much indeed for your time.